All right, so I'm finally getting around to checking out these 1804 motors from RCN Power. Uh, they sent me uh, two sets of these, one in this 3450 KV, and then, which is a gold and gunmetal color, and then they've got uh, this teal and purple color in 2450 KV, 1804. I did show this over on my Instagram um, I don't know, a while back. I originally had a plan for these motors to put this on a 3-inch Cinewhoop, but uh, since then, uh, I don't know, some manufacturers was going to send me some flight controller for that build, and then uh, whatever reason, that company seems to have gone under and disappeared, so this video got delayed for quite a bit. Um, I think this motor is going to be better for some sort of a slower type of flyer, like a Cinewa versus something that's more acro freestyle uh, in like the three to three and a half inch prop size. Uh, but I did decide to put it on my x Knight 35 here, and I'll explain why it's not that great for freestyle. It'll be, for those of you that know motors, it'll be pretty obvious, but uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar, you'll have to watch the video for the explanation. So this one here is a three and a half inch prop. Um, this model originally came with these uh, 1404 motors and a slightly higher KV. This is like 3800 KV. And you can see the size difference here. Obviously four millimeter wider stator, same height, four millimeter height. So a little bit wider motor and it gives you a little bit more uh, lower end torque or a little bit lower, lower end authority if you're on the slow, flying on the you know things that are kind of slower. Um, I think at a higher KV it might be okay for freestyle, but at this low KV on forest, probably not. Maybe this one here in 6S might perform differently. I may investigate that in a, in a future video. But at this KV on a three and a half inch prop, this is. Um, but the difference between. Uh, the 1404 and the 1804 is that I mainly got more authority um, in terms of flight performance with the Action 2 camera on here, so with a lot of extra weight. It did fly fine with the 1404 with the Action 2. I did do some videos previously on that. It's just that um, I felt like it just was a little bit unresponsive because it's a much smaller motor. And then now I feel like with a much bigger motor, I get more responsiveness. It just felt like I was more in control. Yeah, you can do a little bit of freestyle, but this motor is not really, I don't think it's meant for that. Uh, even if you put this on a three-inch cinema, probably not meant for that either. Uh, it's mainly because I think the uh, what you would probably want for this prop size is a different style motor. It's probably a taller motor, but a not as wide. So I think a 1506 motor would be better at this prop size versus an 1804 if you're looking for freestyle performance. But for this, if you're just looking at this as a cinematic flyer, which I think would be fine, um, it gives you very good control. Um, you, have, you can, and it's fairly efficient. I think I had uh, pretty long flights, like in the uh, 70 minute range on 1100 4S on this with, with the Action 2 on here. So it did feel like it was a little bit more efficient than the 1404 and uh, you don't get that much of a weight penalty. So the motor itself, I think it's like maybe two, uh, a little over two, maybe two and a half grams or so heavier than the 1404. Uh, overall, the weight increased from like 148 grams to 159.2, so about 11.2 grams more going from the 1404 to the 1804 motor. That's a straight swap in you know, making sure the motor wires are cut to the same length, et cetera, same prop. So not much of a weight penalty. So this whole thing here with the Action 2, you know, only going up about 11 grams. Still, I can get this under 250 grams uh, because it is a pretty lightweight frame. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a motor that's going to give you a little bit more authority in flight performance over a 1404, the 1804 is, I think, you know, a good option without adding too much extra weight. It kind of depends on what your build is and what your goals are. Um, yeah, but in terms of like uh, the weight penalty, it's not a whole lot, but I think that if you're looking for freestyle performance, I would not choose this motor. Uh, I would choose like a 1506 instead of an 1804. And uh, But for cinematic flying and for efficiency, this is fine. I think it's 
it's more than adequate. And especially if you, you're flying things with a 1404 motor and you just want something with a little more, little more power, especially on the low end, a little bit more control. Uh, you know, what that does is, you know, the low end, uh, the low end power, lower end torque gives you a little bit more authority in turns. Um, just a little bit more precision in terms of your control without having to do a lot of throttle um, manipulation versus the 1404. So, you know, these are things that I think a lot of you that are beginners probably have no clue what I'm talking about. But if you fly a lot of these um, different motors and you have a different feel, you'll know what I'm talking about in terms of what how this wider stator motor is going to feel versus the narrower 14 millimeter uh, motor. So that's basically the difference. Um, it's a good motor. I mean, I've, I've never had any problems with RCN powered motors. They're, they're good quality motors, very well built, good construction, very smooth bearings. Um, you know, they hold up really well. I've, I've crashed all these over the, over the years and uh, have, you know, I generally, um, I, you know, I keep these around and a lot of times people ask me if they can buy these off me, but I just, I keep them around my collection because uh, I, I like the motors and they're good, they're good quality motors, so I can highly recommend them. Anyway, put the link down in the video description if you want to check the motor out. Uh, Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.